director, one of three directors at Hiplask. Um, background is finance over the course of uh, the better part of eight years uh, from uh, Perth and then in London and just come across this opportunity by bumping into the right people. First off, um, had a cushy corporate job in Perth and decided at the time uh, wanting to see the world so just got up and left and uh, took a one-way trip to Europe and landed in London. Went in a mate's van for three months, ran out of money around Europe and then found myself a really uh, good opportunity in London so I spent the next five years there. Um, and I guess the next risk was uh, finishing up in London, taking a year and a half off the travel world and uh, I've landed here and it feels really good and so we're hoping this risk really pays off well. Um, for me personally, I don't know if I, I don't quite like the word entrepreneur. I don't want to offend anyone, but for me an entrepreneur is someone who comes, is, you know, has, has, a, has an element of success and drives that idea of innovation and creativity. I know there's a lot of people who I would classify as small business owners who say they're entrepreneurial, which I think is fair, but I don't know if I classify as entrepreneurs. I think I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't class myself as an entrepreneur. I think I'm um, just seeking opportunity, I think. Uh, Hitflyers takes a, a different viewpoint to, I guess, what other event aggregators are out there. We look at uh, trying to level the playing field in terms of giving the same voice to up and coming bands as well as you know the established bands with larger budgets in terms of marketing so we want to ensure there's a, like a match between what people's interests are and what they're getting and just not getting the higher profile things that have a lot of money to spend on marketing and advertising. For Hitflask we want to encourage and, and work within the local community especially supporting the arts and the creative types and make sure that their work is being recognised and that people that want to see it and find it interesting are getting uh, I guess awareness that they exist and that I guess especially the bands and uh, local artists as well so that's where we're trying to head towards with um, with Hiplask. I think from a um, from a I guess from a starting point um, we're looking at events that are mainly geared towards things that are you know I guess I guess a bit left of field um, on the most part and probably less so on the on the on the Beach Boys that type of thing but we see value in the user spending less time in the app and enjoying spending time with other people in a physical environment and enjoying a gig, um, something interesting in terms of that they haven't seen before, that type of thing. So where we see going in the next couple of years is a, an idea of allowing the users to dictate what they like to see by attending certain things and liking certain things. That way we can start to generate a profile on that particular user. So if you're going somewhere a bit exotic, let's say maybe Moscow, where you have no friends and you have nothing besides um, your backpackers guides, your, you know, your hostels, um, advisors, that type of thing, we'd love to be able to say, oh, they're going to you know, Psychedelic Rock in Perth, so these are all the Psychedelic Rocks in Moscow and you should go to these venues. So the idea is like this, this global passport to the world in terms of exciting and uh, interesting events that you know, match your match your, I guess, your curiosities. I definitely think uh, they should ask themselves very carefully and ask themselves time and time again if that's what they want to do. I think the best quality is grit. It's not easy. I think it's um, a lot of commitment and it actually is a lot harder than you expect. So I think that ability to, to grind out um, difficult situations and ride the highs and go with the lows and I think the most important thing about building um, technology-based um, products is getting this idea of, uh, they call it validation in the startup community, and that basically means feedback from the user base. So I'd love to hear from people who love the app, and especially people who hate it. I'd love to know why that is, and try and um, you know, guide it towards something that they would find uh, useful and would use in their daily lives. I hope that was okay.